What is up everybody, it's the Anime Watcher here and for today we're going to be continuing where we left off in Blue Archive's second chapter for the second volume, Clockwork Flower Pavane. Now in the last episode, um, Rio, Rio wants Aris dead <laughs> for the sake of Kivotos, uh, for the sake of Kivotos and uh, I have mixed feelings about that because I understand where Rio is coming from but the way she talked to it towards Arisu, it made it you know, it made it look like she was a bad guy for the sake of the world. I mean, I get it. Like, I, I get it. She's doing this for Kibota's sake. I get it, but she didn't have to say it the way she did in the previous episode. But either way, please, anybody, just just save Arisu. Just save her, please. Himari, Yuka, anyone. Anyone. Please, just save Arisu. She, she really deserves a happy life. And, uh... Right now, things are looking really, really grim. So, yeah, I've got nothing else to say other than let's just jump right into the video, shall we? There we go. Be that as it may. Okay. I wonder how are we going to get out of this? Arzu seems to be convinced that she needs to go. So the president took Aris away? Um, isn't this a really dangerous situation? Yes, it's clearly an emergency. The reason President Ryo only called Nehru was... Because she already knew how Nehru would react. That's so mean! She took away Iris and harassed the leader! <sighs> Nehru? Nehru? What's wrong? Are you injured anywhere? She took the kid away, and I... And I couldn't do a damn thing about it. That's... It wasn't your fault, Nehru. She ambushed you and cornered you into an unfair fight. Right, it doesn't count. Would you say the same thing if you failed the mission because you got ambushed? Damn. <laughs> okay. It must be really hard for Nehru right now. She easily, she easily subdued me. The president of CNC. And I can't let them take a Oh, and I let them take Aris away. She introduced herself as Call Sign 04. She said her name was Toki. Akane, do you know her? Do you know her? Hmm. Let's just say I knew of her. Call Sign 04 was affiliated with CNC like us, but was assigned exclusively to President Rio. Also, okay. Her personal bodyguard, okay. But this was my first time seeing her and hearing her name. I didn't think she would utilize someone like that to deal with this ma matter. Not only that, she was skilled enough to subdue Nehru. Then again, I guess she was ambushed, but yeah, it's it still happened either way. She was using something strange. Right. Was that what Ryu called the weapon? Hey, Sensei, why did the kid follow Ryo without resisting? She was told that her halo was going to be destroyed, so why? Did the kid really understand what that meant before she left? All she ever does is play video games and go on adventures. Why would Ryo say all those awful things to her? Make her feel like she doesn't deserve to live. Am I the only one who doesn't get it? What? What did she do wrong? Nehru. Let's take a moment to try to understand the situation, shall we? While Momoi was unconscious, Iris was kidnapped by Ryo. Ryo said her goal was to destroy Iris's halo. Iris, your existence is essentially... That of an evil lord who was born to destroy this world. Was that too difficult for you to understand? Let me put it simply. Your halo must be destroyed. Sensei, like Ryo said, is Iris really an evil lord? Midori, that's... I... I want... I don't know. I want to talk to Iris. I want to hear what she's thinking. 
I want to convince Ryo that Iris is nothing like an evil lord. I... We have to. Sensei, what do we do now? We fight Ryo and Toki, baby. There are many of us and there are only two of them. And we have other allies too, like Himari. <laughs> Momoi. Oh, wait, what? Momoi's saying Momoi. She's back! I have risen! She's back, boys! Momoi! Momoi, how are you feeling? How are your injuries? Wasn't Momoi in Chale? I'm fine. Everything's all healed. I slept it all off and I'm ready to go. And I'm a warrior who's just filled all her portions, potions. Got all the XP needed for leveling up and has moved on to the next stage. I'm a super enhanced character who has nothing to be afraid of. Momoi. Momoi, Iris. Iris is. Huh? What is this? Why is Midori acting all needy? It's like she just got a bunch of mean comments online or something. Momoi. Iris was... Alright, Momoi doesn't know yet. You fools! Baka mono ne! Hey! Momoi? Hmm, I don't know if I understand everything exactly. After hearing the story, I can't exactly explain all the things I'm feeling, and my heart is heavy. But one thing is clear. What's that? We cannot and will not accept the situation. Let's go, Momoi, for the revolution! Momoi for the revolution! So, basically, what I'm understanding in this volume, Momoi is acting like what Hifumi did in volume 3. Well, at least in this particular moment. I'm not saying... Uh, she's moment by moment the same as Hifumi, but the way she's acting like the beacon of hope or the one who hasn't given up yet. I mean, yes, Momoi wasn't present when all of this was happening, so maybe, so maybe she can act this way. But then again, Momoi is a kind person, and if she if she thinks on something, she'll go through with it. So it's so it's so wholesome. God damn it! Hell yeah. She's our friend. We can't let Iris go like this. What she said when she left? That's not an acceptable farewell. That can't be the end. It's the worst. I want to get Iris back. I'm gonna go get her. Everyone, don't you agree? Hey. Momoi. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's right. Hey, kid. <laughs> what? Y yes, Nero. You... That was a good speech just now. Oh, hell yeah, I've been acknowledged by Nero. In chapter 1, it was Yuzu, and now it was Momoi, baby, hell yeah. You're right, we don't have to overthink this. All we gotta do is what I do best. Attack! She took her away from us, so now we have to go get her back. What do you think, Akane, Asuna, Karin? <laughs> Say no more. If that's your decision, I've been waiting for this. So, Sensei, please lend us your power. Yo, I'm excited. Okay, let's think about how we can bring Iris back. Let's go! We're gonna fight Rio! Strategy meeting. Let's go. I love moments like these. It's so cute. Okay, we're now gonna plan our strategy to attack Ryo and rescue Iris, baby. Oh, we don't know about Himar Himari yet. I wonder how- <gasps> Let's go, Yuka! The thighs is here! Ryo's gonna lose because the thighs is here! <laughs> yeah, so I figured maybe you know where Ryo is. Oh, wait, so she's not gonna- <gasps> Noah! Hi! I had a hunch that she'd been working on something secretly. But I can't believe it was something like that. That's a bit shocking. Rio, what is she trying to achieve? Oh man, I was really looking forward to them also helping us, but hey, I mean it still helped. It still helped. I appreciate it. She did what to Aris? She kidnapped her? To destroy her halo? I don't understand. She tends to do things that are hard to comprehend. Noah, this is not a matter of comprehension. 
I never know what she's thinking, but even if she's the president, this can't be forgiven. She's quite bold for an upperclassman. <laughs> right? That's how Yuka is. Oh, <laughs> I guess you trust me. Huh? What do you mean? Bro, <laughs> I just realized that now. Anyway, Yuka, Noah, I'll be counting on you. Yes, we can check seminar's internal information to find the whereabouts of President Rio. Leave it to us. We'll do our best to cooperate. Hell yeah. I mean, it still help. I'll take it. We found it, Sensei. We found out where Rio took Iris. Let me guess, she took her to the abandoned ruins. I was hoping what you told us wasn't true. I can't believe she embezzled seminar funds to create something like this. I'm still in shock. What is it? Just in case we went looking for data that had been deliberately deleted or concealed from seminar's database, it was cleverly hidden, but we noticed a discrepancy in the use of seminar's club funds. And we found this place. I'll put it on the screen now. A secret society? Is this a city? When we restored the deleted data from the database, we found information on the city. Codename Eridu. Eridu? Isn't this the same as uh, Babylonia? President Rio was building this in... So she built... An entire civil, well, not civilization, an entire city in secret. It's a fortress city to prepare for the destruction of keep. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing Eridu will have a huge role to play when Volume F comes. Okay. Eridu, the fortress city? How could she have built a city of this scale behind our backs? Couldn't have been easy to hide the flow of funds. Well, if you're the president, surely you could get away with stuff like that, so it's not surprising. Could it have something to do with the incident that Koyuki was in? Koyuki was involved. What happened with Koyuki? Oh? Koyuki! But why would she... Okay, is there something I missed here? What happened to Koyuki? President Ryo doesn't hesitate to act when she thinks she must achieve something. She has reasonable judgment, the courage to make decisions, and a drive that pushes forward like a bulldozer. As a result of working tirelessly to eliminate danger and prevent the destruction of Kivotos, she created the fortress city of Eridu. There's a high chance that Iris was taken to the central tower in the city. Iris could be there? I'm sending you the coordinates now. This is all we can help you with, but... Please stop President Ryu and get Iris back, everyone. Got it. Leave it to us. Yo! We've confirmed the coordinates to Eridu. The problem is how to infiltrate it. I'm sure the President would have built a defense system to, to prevent intruders. We need to have a plan. Well, I suppose we'll get the full experience of why it's called the Fortress City. How are we supposed to get in though? It sounds impossible to access. We may not be able to access it the ordinary way. But the engineering department knows another way. Yeah, let's go. This is so cool. If it was just a matter of manpower, Rio could cover it with her drones. But materials are another matter. Even she can make something from nothing. There are a lot of unmanned trains acting as logistic transportations on the outskirts of the Millennium District. If Millennium transported resources to build that city, there's a good chance one of the routes secretly leads to Eridu. Oh, then if we can find that route, yes, we can get to Eridu. But how are we going to know which train that is? That's an impossible task. That's where the engineering department comes in. But Utaha, we're gonna have to fight Rio. Are you sure? You're wondering why we would cooperate? The answer should be obvious. The Sword of Light, baby! They need Iris because Iris can wield the Sword of Light and they need more test results, I'm guessing. Or in the goodness of their hearts because they love Iris. <laughs> President Rio stole the greatest invention. Oh, okay, so it's both. President Rio stole the greatest invention of the engineering department, which we entrusted to Iris. The greatest invention, the Sword of Light, baby. 
the supernova, her sword of light. Yes, interfering with our inventions is an act of arrogation. This is a declaration of war against the engineering department. As president, I cannot let this slide. Utaha, don't be shy about it. Huh? What? Um, what are you talking about? I'll explain. This is what Utaha's thinking. She wants us to go save her friend, but she's kind of embarrassed to say it aloud. She thinks she maybe it's too illogical to say as an engineer that she's worried about someone she cares about. So she figures it's easier to use a stolen item as an excuse. Pottery. <laughs> okay, my secret is safe. Um, I don't think it's a secret anymore. Sensei, shh, shh, shh. It's still a secret. If you say so. So, the engineering department will help. Affirmative. Yeah, you can count on us. Yo, the more help, the better, baby. When I had thought we'd found Iris' location and a means to get there, I realized... The real issue is how we'll bring Iris back once we get there. President Ryu likely thought of everything. She didn't name it the Fortress City for no reason. The level of security and the defense systems of the city must be greater than our wildest imaginations. Not only that, even if we infiltrate this fortress city, we'll still have to face our biggest obstacle, Toki. The maid by Ryo's side who will be rigorously guarding the place. Neru could deal with it probably. Was her name Toki? What Toki did last time? I've never seen anyone move that fast before. It was like she had activated some cheats. Like she, were, she was fast, right? So is Ryo actually a machine? Like similar to Iris, but at the same time with different technology? What we need is a strategy. I mean, that's why this episode is called Strategy Meeting, but yeah. <laughs> did Nero just say... Strategy? Nehru, are you okay? Did you hit your head or something? Piss off! I mean it! I see. The president is in mission mode. She can actually be very serious when she wants to be. That is correct. Uh, uh, I see. Hmm. Nehru, can you elaborate? Even if we get into the fortress city, our movements will definitely be immediately exposed since it's Ryo's territory. There's a reason she's called Big Sister after all. Nothing gets past her. So that means... It's simple. Instead of overthinking it, we go there and draw their attention right out in the open. And President Ryo will wipe us out in a matter of moments. That's why I said we need a strategy. To be exact, a diversionary tactic. Oh, so Nero will be the bait. Okay. The conditions to win this game are simple. Rescue the kid before we're, in we're incapacitated. If CNC attacks head on and causes chaos, all of Ryo and Toki's attention will be focused on us. While they're distracted, you guys rescue the kid. Simple and easy. If we can do that, it'll be game over for Ryo. But, but, well... Do you think you'll be okay, Nero? That Toki person is a big old cheater. Huh? Are you underestimating me? She got me last time, so I've got to pay her back. I'm doing what I have to do, so you do your dirty. <laughs> so you do your duty. As usual, I'm with you. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Leave it to us. Well, we'll do our best. If we have everyone from CNC, there's a high chance we can actually break through. That's the conclusion then. The president and CNC will take the front. Yo, okay, so now we have a plan. The rest of us, the game development department, and Sensei will take the rear, I guess. Veritas will support from behind the scenes. Yeah, we'll hack any security systems walking away. Or they could also hack the drones, but I guess it's way out of their power. Since Himari has proven to us that she could hack them. That would be so cool. Imagine this, right? 
So we're being surrounded by drones, but then out of nowhere, the drones suddenly turn on Rio, and then it was all Re it was all Himari who was doing it behind the scenes. While she was captured, she slowly figured out a way to like still manage to hack the drones from where she currently was. That would be such a cool way to like bring back her character in because she was first shown in the prologue, or at least the first episode in which I just call it the prologue. But yeah, I don't know. That would such be a cool way to, to reintroduce her back into the story. All right, sounds like a plan to me. We can do this. Let's go save Arisu, boys. I mean, I mean, girls. The target is the central tower of the fortress city of Eridu. That's where Iris is held. Since Iris left home without our permission, we're bringing her back as we please. Okay, then now. Let's go. We are not leaving Iris behind, boys. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Let's begin the operation. Hell yeah, it's gonna be so hype. Big sister, oh god, so we're already at the big boss already. Okay, okay. And that will be it for today's re not reaction video, but that will be it for today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did, because I certainly did. God damn, I love moments like these where the characters get together and talk about, you know, just plans, like normal stuff. It builds up their character. In a way, it builds up their character. But at the same time, it it's just interesting seeing all of these characters in the same room, interacting with one another, planning together. Like, again, I really like that. I really like small moments like these. But now, in the next episode, we're going to be fighting Rio and her fortress. So I'm kind of curious how this will all play out. But no matter what will happen, we're going to be rescuing Aris. We're gonna bring her home. Momo is also fully back in action, so that's pretty good. The gang's all together. All that's left is now for Aris to come home. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!